Hello everyone. Today in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the structure of tongue. So we know that this is the accessory organ of digestive system. So not even this, uh, rather it also forms one of the sensory organ in our body, which is mainly responsible for the taste of food. So the tongue is responsible for various activities in our body like uh, it senses taste because it has many projection over the upper surface of the tongue that senses the various taste and uh, the another is it help or it assist in chewing because it propel the food in between the teeth. So uh, the teeth help in further digestion and once it mixes with the various salivary juices in our mouth it makes the bolus and propel the food that it helps in swallowing or deglutition of food along the GI tract and also it helps in speech as what I am doing here yes so the tongue assists in various function for the taste for the chewing of food it propels the food and it helps in deglutition and for the speech so here we'll discuss uh, its structure and what all muscles are responsible for its various function but uh, uh, here we are not going in detail about its sensory pathway we are just discussing here its structure okay so the tongue is basically divided into three parts the anterior part is the apex or the tip which is free here it is the main middle portion is called the body and this is and the posterior part is called root from which is uh, it is attaches from back of our mouth so basically this tongue forms the floor of our mouth because uh, when we are not using our tongue uh, okay when our mouth is closed then this tongue the anterior tip of this tongue rest just back of upper incisor teeth yes so here you can see this is the body part uh, and the lateral aspect of this body part comes in contact with the gums and teeth here okay so this whole part uh, when you pull your tongue and see in mirror the part which you can see in mirror is called dorsum or the upper surface so here you can imagine this is the dorsum or the upper surface yes and inferior to this dorsum is the inferior surface which directly comes in contact with the floor of mouth okay so in the inferior surface there is one mucosal fold that attaches the tongue to the floor of the mouth is called the lingual frenulum and on the either side of this lingual frenulum there are deep lingual veins which are prominent and elevated okay that you can see when you turn your uh, tongue backward okay now come to this dorsum part so this dorsum of tongue is divided into two the anterior two-third part is called oral part here it is and the posterior one-third part is called pharyngeal part and the both part divided by v-shaped groove which is called sulcus terminalis and this sulcus terminalis goes laterally and forward up to the palatoglossal arc like uh, here you can see this is the palatoglossal arc so this extends up to up till that region and divide this oral and pharyngeal part and at the apex of this sulcus terminalis there is uh, one depressed area which is called foramen cecum okay so this uh, depressed area is called foramen cecum here and here the whole oral part is covered by uh, various projection in the mucosal membrane uh, which is called the papillae but here I'm not going in detail because there are various type of papillas which are responsible for the taste that all will discuss in sensory organ so on the surface of this dorsum uh, there are the projection which are called papillaries and uh, that gives this tongue characteristics of roughness okay but back to this oral in pharyngeal part there are no papillas there is no mucosal projection rather they have lymphoid follicles in this area which collectively called as lingual tonsils because uh, whatever the food you eat uh, that goes in a mouth and uh, if it contains various microorganisms then these all are detected by these all tonsils and uh, it gives us immunity against these all organisms okay that 
these all tonsils protect us from being diseased okay so here presents the various lingual tonsils okay from posterior to this pharyngeal part are the two mucosal folds here you can see medial lateral lateral that is right and left lateral glosso epiglottis fold so this posterior part of pharyngeal uh, portion forms the anterior part of oropharynx okay so this Uh, these three mucosal folds form the anterior portion of oropharynx and uh, here you can see uh, on either side of this median glossoepiglottis fold there are two depression which are called valicula okay and along with that there you can see one medial sulcus is there there is one fibrous septa is there that divide the right and left half of the tongue equally both side so there is one division of the septa which is called medial sulcus or the medial fibrous septa okay so this one okay now come to its muscles so as we know that the tongue is muscular organ because it is mainly made up of skeletal muscles so as it plays various function like speech chewing deglutition for all these it need to be uh, retract depress move roll okay so for all these reasons uh, the muscles play a very important role in doing all these activities so the tongue has uh, four pair of intrinsic and four pair of extrinsic muscle fibers intrinsic muscle fibers means these muscles are mainly responsible for changing the shape of the tongue okay so as i'm doing in speech the tongue is changing its shape because of that only i'm able to speak okay so for the changing of the uh, shape of the tongue the intrinsic muscles are responsible for that and the other is extrinsic muscle which is mainly responsible for changing the position of the tongue but it means uh, it goes right left uh, it pulls out it drag depress for all these uh, movement the extrinsic muscles are responsible for these okay so here it has intrinsic four pair of intrinsic and four pair of extrinsic muscle fiber intrinsic muscle fibers originate in the connective tissue of tongue and insert in the connective tissue itself but extrinsic muscles originate in the bones it means uh, it is present outside the tongue so it is originating from the bone and it is inserting in the tongue okay so this is the basic difference so let's see what all four pair of intrinsic muscles are there firstly you can see here is the superior longitudinal muscle so these muscle fibers lies just beneath the mucosal membrane so here you can see this is the uh, coronal section of the tongue uh, when you dissect your tongue uh, from the coronal level then what all structure you can see that is shown here okay so this is the frontal section in front what you can see in the tongue okay once it become dissected so the intrinsic muscles the first one is the superior longitudinal muscle which lies just beneath the mucosa here you can see then comes the transverse muscles that extends from this medial fibrous septa and it ends till the margin of the tongue then the vertical muscles both side okay so vertical mu muscles are present uh, in the anterior aspect of the tongue on the border of the tongue yes and comes the inferior longitudinal muscle which lies in between the genioglossus and the hyoglossus muscles okay so this inferior longitudinal muscles uh, is present near the floor of the mouth it is present just superior to that uh, the superior one but inferior is closer to the floor of the mouth okay so these are the four pair because these all are present in right and left as well and this is the medial fibrous septa that divide this whole tongue into two uh, right and left half yes so these are the four pair of intrinsic muscles that alter the shape of the tongue okay now comes the extrinsic muscle fibers that originate in the bone and insert in the connective tissue of tongue so first is 
genioglossus it means it is originating in the muscles it is extending from the ma mandible mandible genio means mandible glossus means tongue so it is extending from the mandible and insert in the connective tissue of tongue hyoglossus extends from originate from uh, originating in the hyoid bone and inserting in the connective tissue of tongue okay hyoglossus styloglossus originating in the styloid process and inserting in the connective tissue of tongue and palatoglossus that is originating in the palatine bones and insert in the connective tissue of tongue so these are the four pair of extrinsic muscles that is genioglossus hyoglossus styloglossus and palatoglossus and the intrinsic muscles are superior longitudinal muscle transverse muscles vertical muscles and the inferior longitudinal muscles so these are the four set of intrinsic and extrinsic skeletal muscle fibers that forms the structure of uh, tongue so here in this lecture we have discussed the structure of tongue which is the accessory organ in digestive system as well as the part which forms in sensory regions okay uh so we have discussed its various part and the skeletal muscles which are mainly responsible for its main function thank you